That is right, Lauren. This weekend's National Buffalo Wing Festival is honoring one Western New York family who is making a name for buffalo wings out west. After moving to Arizona, the Anderson family refused to say goodbye to their Western New York favorites, so they opened a restaurant celebrating all things New York. And, of course, we're talking about the Wings Festival, so that does include those wings you're seeing. Here to tell us a little bit about the story, your unique story is Judy Anderson. You're the founder of Native yes. Grill and Wings and her granddaughter, Ashley O'Neill. You are also part of the family business. So let's sort of talk about the story behind this because there's so many people that move away from Buffalo and just miss those wings and all those tastes from home. Exactly. It's an exciting story. I think they miss the taste of home a little bit too much. Um, they moved out to Arizona, opened up a restaurant, which was their lifelong dream. Um, brought all the things they love from back home and it was a huge success they were the first ones out to arizona to introduce the chicken wing actually so we are talking about that chicken wing so what is it like creating that chicken wing that western new york flavor all the way over in arizona it's wonderful um, i think the family took a lot of inspiration from the classic buffalo wing and put their own little spin on it and it's been a huge success so what are you what will you be featuring at the buffalo national wing festival that people can sort of try out for themselves we've got a couple of our different signature sauces um, one of which being the ghost which is our new ghost chili sauce super spicy um, we've also got our strawberry hot our traditional hot and a couple other flavors for everyone to try. Now, one of the big questions I have for you, when you leave Buffalo, leave Western New York, they become Buffalo style chicken wings. Now at your restaurant, do you call them chicken wings or do you call them Buffalo wings? At our restaurant, <laughs> I think it's 50-50. Yes. Yep. A and lot of people still associate them with Buffalo for sure. Now is it just Buffalo wings or is it other New York themed food that you offer to uh, your customers in Arizona? We've got a bunch of great New York food on our menu as well, especially our pizzas. And then let's talk chicken wings a little bit more. Now, there's so many different ways to make chicken wings. So what is it about your chicken wings that really scream buffalo? I think it's the flavors. It's the way we um, just our secret recipe for preparing them. Which you can't them. share <laughs> exactly. at all. Exactly. <laughs> All right, perfect. Well, you're coming up to a pretty big weekend. You're going to be honored at the National Buffalo Chicken Wing Festival. So I want to pull up a panel with that information because it is happening this weekend. We're looking at August 30th, Sunday, August 31st at Coca-Cola Field. What is your favorite thing so far being back in Western New York? Is it kind of like a big welcome home for you guys? Yes, I'm actually not from New York. <laughs> I'm from Arizona, so it's great to see my family's roots and be back here and just learn about where all this great stuff started. All right, well, thank you so much, Ashley, for joining us. And of course, Judy, thank you so much for bringing one of Buffalo's favorite things over to Arizona. We're really proud to uh, have our roots expanded just a little bit farther. But right now, we're gonna head over to Lauren to see what's going on.